Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna discuss about partial correlation analysis using R software. Before skipping to analysis uh, or before jumping to analysis, it's better to say something about the partial correlation analysis. Partial correlation analysis helps us to measure the degree of association between two random variables when there is the effect of other variables that control the two variables, let's say planted or grain or x and y. So um, it deals about the association of between two variables while when there is the effect of other uh, variables that control them. And it, uh, that means a partial correlation analysis uh, basically gives a precise relationship between two random variables with the effect of uh, other variables that also affect the two like, for example, here is x and y uh, variables. So to calculate the uh, partial correlation analysis in our uh, software, we have to use the p-core function, as you can see here, p-core function, which is built in the pp-core uh, uh, package. And this pp-core package uh, helps to calculate both the partial as well as the semi-partial uh, correlation along with p uh, values. Additionally, the p core function, that means the uh, p core function, help us to calculate the pairwise partial correlation for each pair of variables given uh, others. And it also gives us the p value as well as uh, statistics for each uh, pair of uh, variables. So let's create a, a sample data for calculating the partial correlation analysis. And as you can see here, I give ACU1, and you can give any name that you want, then uh, followed by the function data.frame, then the x-axis, or sorry, the first variable is containing 14 uh, uh, variables, which is set in this form, and do in similar fashion for the second variable, which is designated as y, and maybe it's, differ, uh, it's different uh, from you. You can assign granite, you can assign plantate, you can assign whatever you want, maybe female or male, whatever it is. So uh, it must be equal to the x uh, value. So submit this, uh, select this one and submit to R Studio. Then the Pearson correlation, the normal, that means the non-partial correlation among the two is you can con you can compute using the core function and put the value aku one here. So it will give you the uh, Pearson correlation, that means not partial. As you can see here, uh, the association or the correlation between x and y is 0 0.954. And if we do in similar fashion for the semi-partial correlation, we may get similar results because we are not adding the other uh, or the third uh, variable. So in order to do the semi, in order to do partial correlation analysis in R, we have to uh, use, we have to load the uh, PP uh, core package that helps us to compute the partial correlation. So submit this, then we have to use the PCOR function and write the ACU1 into, uh, into in this uh, 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 parenthesis, mm -hmm. into this parenthesis. Then submit this one, and uh, as you can see here, you, you can get the uh, uh, you can get the x and y variable, and the association between x and uh, y is 0 0.95, it's obvious. Uh, again, also, you can get the p-value. As you can see, the p-value is 0, which is statistically uh, significant for both, uh, for the association between x and uh, y. So, uh, let's continue by adding the third uh, uh, variable to the group. So, and similarly, we, you can assign a name that you want, but I can I assigned here aku uh, two, then followed by data dot frame function. Then the x and the y are similar to the first one, and I added I added the third uh, variable, which is called uh, z or is designated by z. Then I submit this one. Then I will calculate the partial correlation analysis um, 
for the given uh, data. So, so immediately calculate the partial correlation using the p -core function and uh, change ACK1 into 2 that contains the z-value. Then we can get the result in this way. So as you can see here, uh, previously the relationship between x and y is 0 .0 .0 0.9, uh, around 0. Yes, 0 0.95. But by now, it's decreased to what? It decreased uh, to 0 0.385. This means uh, there is in inconsistency between x and x and z by what? By 0 0.787 value. So by this way, we can calculate uh, the association between uh, two variables by controlling the third factor. So it's uh, highly decreased from uh, what we get in the first. That means from, from 0 0.954 to 0 0.38. So x and here is z are inconsistent by 0 0.787. But if 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 we go back to if we use the core function, the normal one, so you can get as usual is 0 0.95. It's uh, uh, similar. So <clears throat> this is all about uh, uh, partial uh, correlation using our software. As usual, if you have any question regarding the material, you can address me through my email, gmail.com or alternatively, you can use my uh, YouTube uh, comment box. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.